Hi, I'm Dr. David Drawn of Vein Specialist of the Carolinas. March is DVT Awareness Month. DVT stands for Deep Vein Thrombosis. Deep Vein Thrombosis is a blood clot inside a deep vein. A deep vein is one that's inside the muscle layer and runs alongside the arteries. This is distinguished from superficial phlebitis, which is also a blood clot, but is in a varicosity or a vein just beneath the skin. A DVT cannot be seen or felt. Phlebitis can be felt and seen and is usually a red tender area under the skin. The primary symptoms of DVT are pain and swelling in one leg. When you develop pain or swelling in one leg, it's very important for a physician to have a high index of suspicion for a blood clot. The most serious complication of a DVT is a pulmonary embolism in which a part of the clot breaks loose and goes to the heart and into the lungs. Symptoms of this would be sudden chest pain or shortness of breath. If you were to experience this in association with leg pain or swelling, you should go straight to the emergency room. This is a very critical condition. Although pulmonary embolism is the most serious complication of DVT, it is not the most common. The most common complication of DVT is called post-phlebitic or post-thrombotic syndrome. This is where you get continued pain and swelling and possibly discoloration of the skin of the leg over months to years after the clot has resolved. The underlying cause of DVT centers around what physicians know as Verkau's triad. Verkau's triad has three components, injury, stasis, and hypercoagulability. Injury is exactly what it says. Stasis uh, refers to the blood not flowing as fast as it should. This often occurs when you're sedentary, particularly sitting, motionless, say in a long car ride or a plane ride. Hypercoagulability is a complicated term that can be serious medical conditions such as malignancy or polycythemia. Also can be something as simple as dehydration. The way a blood clot can be diagnosed is with an ultrasound. The standard treatment for DVT is anticoagulation. This means taking a blood thinner. For most people, this is for three to six months. What is often forgotten in the management of deep vein thrombosis is graduated compression garment therapy. This is compression socks that are tighter at the bottom and gradually get looser toward the top. This helps keep fluid and swelling from developing in the leg. It has also been shown to help reduce the incidence of post phlebitic syndrome. We also have a full line of Sigvaris compression garments which can be used not only to treat DVT but also to help prevent DVT. Now we have more aggressive treatment for DVT called thrombolysis in which we actually go in and dissolve the clot or thrombectomy where we mechanically remove the clot. This is only available for certain sets of patients with blood clots. So if you're having pain or swelling or congestion or increased redness in one leg and you're concerned about a DVT, your only resource is not an emergency room or urgent care. At Vein Specialist of the Carolinas, we have two accredited vascular labs staffed with full-time RVTs five days a week. Hi, I'm Kat, here at Vein Specialist of the Carolinas, the IAC coordinator. If you feel you have signs or symptoms of a DVT or deep vein thrombosis, give our office a call. We'll schedule you. Again, this is Dr. David Drawn with Vein Specialist of the Carolinas. If you'd like more information, please visit our website at veinscarolina.com. And remember, all we do is veins, all day, every day.